And what I found with these normal cases is they're good cases, but they're a tiny bit too soft. Um, so after four or five uses at really high pressure, the primer pockets get a little bit loose. Now I could go down the pressure chain when I do, but uh, I've got another solution which I'm going to show you. So here's a box of 300 Winchester Magnum unprimed cases by Remington. And uh, these have the advantage of being much, much easier to find and less expensive than normal brass. Uh, but you have to reform them. I use 300 Win Mag. Some people use 338 Mag, but the normal Mag has the shoulder blown forward a little bit, and I don't like blowing forward the shoulder. Uh, I like using 300 Win Mag, even though it does require a little bit of trimming. On the left is 300 Winchester Magnum. On the right is 358 Norma. So how do you take the 300 Winchester? and turn that into the shorter, wider 358 normal. So, one of the things that uh, you need to do is expand the mouth from 308 to 358, and I take it through an 8 millimeter or 325 die. Then I go to a 338 Lapua die to go to up to 338, and then I take it finally through the 358 normal mag die, and that also sets the shoulder back to where it's supposed to be. And I get good head space right on the very first, from the shoulder, not the belt, which is what you want. You want the head spacing from the shoulder. So let me just run through this. One of the secrets is imperial sizing dye wax. This is the dax wax I really like to use. So I'll put a lot of that on, especially on the uh, neck and inside the neck. Try to keep it off the shoulder. Okay, so this is the 325 die. So see how simple that was? So that is now an 8mm 300 went magnum. Same setup. Now I've got the 338 Lapua die in. So now I'm going to just expand that neck a little more. And now we have a 338 300 magnum. Now I have the Norma Magnum in. Now this is going to be a little more effort because i got to not only expand, so there I'm expanding. I just expanded the neck. Now I'm setting back the shoulder. And you will see I've made a 358 Norma Magnum with an abnormally long neck. If you compare this to a ordinary 358 Norma, you can see the neck is a lot longer on this new cartridge here. So I have to trim that. The worst part about using the 300 uh, wind mag cases is it does require a fair bit of trimming. Yeah, I've got to trim a tenth of an inch off the case or so. And my last step is to, these have been work hardened, so I'm going to anneal them a bit. I'm going to keep these all up. Start gently. And I've got them basically standing in water, because you don't want to anneal or soften the heads. So these are just the shoulder. And I make sure I get them a nice little glow, which you probably won't be able to see in the camera. When I'm satisfied they're at the right temperature, I just knock them over. Oh. So you can see the nice little color change there. That means I've annealed the neck. And I haven't gone so far back as the as the shoulder, uh, but the neck is the thing that gets the most work, so that's where you're most likely to get cracked. So that's been annealed, so that's now soft again. So this is an imprecise science. I find four seconds per side with the propane heat seems to get me about what I want to have. 
and the water, make sure that the annealing doesn't keep flowing down. And you don't want to get it down in this area here, because uh, especially in the head area where the primer pocket is. You want a nice hard primer pocket. So that seems to work for me. And the very last test is to see how the capacities are the same. So this is a Norma case with a primer. And the Norma case with a primer weighs 238.7. And the Remington case also weighs 238.7. I also measured the capacity with H4895 powder. And they're within 0.3 grains of one another with the Remington being slightly less and that's possibly because the Norma has been in the gun and fire form to some degree where this is brand new brass so I should be able to use identical uh, loads I didn't expect it to be so 238.7 and that is you can see if you can see that Remington Peters and 238.7 as you can see that's the actual Norma brass I've never seen such uh, perfection before as quite crazy I was expecting some difference in brass but there's uh, virtually none very interesting <laughs>